Hey guys, I'm Dan Meyer and this is the first video in my how to locate winter crappies uh, for ice fishing video series. Now in this video we're going to talk about the first step, the most basic step in finding uh, crappies. Now everybody wants to get out there and they want to you know just get on one of those bites where you catch just a whole bunch of big crappies you've, you've either done it yourself or you've seen pictures of people with just them and a whole bunch of crappies so this whole training series is going to be how do you find those schools that can produce those type of numbers so to go along with this training series um, I put together a seven step crappie locating system it's basically all the steps that I go through from looking at a lake map, what to look for, um, any time that I'm going out on a new lake or even a lake I fished before, but trying to find new schools of crappies. And once you get good at it, it gets pretty easy. Uh, you just need to know all the steps to take to find them. So if you want a copy of that system, just click on the link in the description of this video, enter your details and I will send it to you and you can use that system kind of as a checklist to go along with what we're learning in this video training uh, series. So in this first video we're going to talk about where to start the search for for, um, for crappies and the, the first thing you look at is the lake type. Now what a lot of guys do when they're going out on a new crappie lake and one of the reasons that they don't find the crappies, they get skunked or they catch a few, they, you know, they have a long, frustrating day, is they think back to a time when, or a spot where they caught a lot of crappies and they analyze the spot, the situation, what it was like, and then they apply that to everywhere they go. Which is a good move, but only if you're, you know, you're applying it to the same type of lake. For example, if you're fishing a, a farm pond or a pothole type lake, the crappies are going to relate to, you know, they're going to behave differently than if you're fishing a small shallow lake or if you're fishing a big deep lake or a small deep lake or, a, you know, a flowage or a reservoir. Crappies are going to be, behave a little bit different in each different lake type. So you need to understand what you're fishing before you can kind of figure out, okay, where to go and look for them. For example, if you're fishing a small farm pond or you know a pothole type lake, a lot of times those are relatively shallow and they're pretty much featureless. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So if you're on one of these type farm pond um, trying to find some crappies, any variance in the topography of the lake can hold the fish. For example, if there's a steep drop off someplace, the fish could relate to that. If there's a point sticking out into the pond, the fish could relate to that. It could be a certain type of cover, a little creek that flows into it. Where if you go into, you know, a small shallow lake, there you might be looking for something like weeds. Whereas if you're fishing a big deep lake, that might be more of a basin bite and you're looking for crappies in the deeper water. Um, if you're going on to a flowage, there you're concerned with things like the main river channel um, or stump fields. So, you know, each lake type, the crappies could be in a different spot. You're going to have a different approach to fishing that lake. So when you go out, you're going to try a new area or a new lake and you're going to try to find some crappies. The first thing you want to do is identify what type of lake or, you know, or reservoir you're going to be fishing and then once you establish okay this is a small shallow lake then you then you proceed to look at okay where are the crappies in that type of lake so that that's where you start now in the next video uh, in this series we're going to talk about in each type of lake where do the crappies hold so if we're fishing a big deep lake what do we look for as far as structure um, that could hold the crappie. So that's going to be in the next video. You can check that out by clicking on the link right up here in the corner of this video um, after a couple days or just waiting. That's going to be the next video I publish. So check that video out. But also make sure you get a copy of my seven step crappie locating system. That's going to outline all the steps that you need to take 
to go out and some fine crappies on your next lake. So I'll see you guys in the next video.